In this video, we are going to discuss about GE 3171 Problem Solving and Python Programming Laboratory, exercise number 1E, to develop a flowchart for finding weight of a steep bar. Now, let's see the syllabus for Regulation 2021. It is the syllabus Identification and Solving of Simple Real Life or Scientific or Technical Problems and Developing Flowchart for the same. In this, we are going to see weight of a steel bar. Before entering into the topic, first let's see what is a flow chart. Flow charts are a diagrammatic method of representing algorithm. It uses an intuitive scheme of showing operation in boxes connected by lines and arrows that graphically shows the flow of control in an algorithm. Now let's see what is the weight of a steel bar. So, a steel bar means, first let's see what is a steel bar. Steel bar commonly referred to as steel, but also referred to as stone bar, slide bar, guitar slide, slide bottleneck. is a smooth, hot object which is pressed against strings to play steel guitar and it's itself the origin of the name steel guitar. The device can either be a solid bar which is held in the hand or a tubular object form around the player's finger. Instead of pressing fingertips on the strings against frets as a traditional guitar is played, the steel guitarist used one of these objects pressed against the string with one hand while plucking the strings with the other to gain the ability to play a smooth and a deep vibrato not possible when playing with fingers on frets. Rebar is also known as reinforcement steel and reinforcing steel is a steel bar or mesh of steel wires used in reinforcement concrete and mesh structures to strengthen and hold the concrete in tension. Now let's see the lab manual. It's a lab manual for exercise number 1E and this is the algorithm and this is a pseudocode. So what we are going to do is if the steel Bar of the length is in meter. Meter la the chabina calculate pandra. Weight every calculate pandra now. Diameter into diameter into length that is divided by 162. Ama calculate pandra. Ade abdi la diameter into diameter length divided by 533. Abdi optional calculate pandra. So ipa nama flow chart paka pandra. So this is a symbol for start. So that is known as terminator. Abdi nama solva. Ilana terminal point. Oh, well, Terminator shows the start and stop points in a process. This is the start and this is the stop point in the process. Next comes the flow line that is arrow symbol or connector. Flow line connector shows the direction that the process flow. So in the process, every value of flow is the direction that the flow line is used. Next, this shape indicates the data that is input and output. The data flowchart shape indicates input to and output from a process. As such, the shape is more often referred to as input output shape than a data shape. So, input to the symbol use pandra. Similarly, output to the symbol na use pandra. That is data shape. Next, this is known as decision symbol. It indicates a question or branch in process flow. A decision flowchart shape is used when there are two options that is yes or no. So two options are the symbol use pandra. This is known as decision symbol. And this is known as process symbol. It shows a single process or action step. It is the most common symbol in the flowchart. So this is known as process symbol. In a process the process symbol. Then again, this is the data input or output symbol. And finally, this is the terminator, that is terminal point or oval, that is the ending symbol, stop symbol. So finally, we have drawn GE3171 Problem Solving and Python Programming Laboratory 1E exercise, that is how to draw a flowchart for finding the weight of a steel bar. I hope you have understood. Thank you.